Hi, Lisa here from Cool Kids Hub. Today I would like to share seven simple tips for helping your baby to sleep through the night. Now if you have a baby or young child who's not sleeping through the night, don't worry, you are not alone. But there are some simple things that you can do straight away to start helping your baby to sleep through the night. So tip number one is have an earlier bedtime. Now I know sometimes as a parent we think if we keep our child up later or keep them awake for longer, they'll they'll sleep better. They will sleep for longer. But unfortunately the reverse is true. An overtired child, um, young child or baby will actually wake up more frequently and will sleep for shorter periods of time. So an ideal bedtime for a baby or young child is somewhere between 6 and 7.30 p.m. Now we're not talking about babies who are newborn, so less than 8 weeks old, because their bedtime is typically between 9 and 10 p.m. Here we're talking about from around that three month mark, you'll you'll start to choose a bedtime that's appropriate for you and your family, but between 6 and 7.30 is is the ideal time. Tip number two is put your baby down to sleep in the same place every time, both for naps and bedtime. Now I know this isn't always possible for naps, especially if you have other children and family commitments. But where possible, try to put your baby down to sleep in the same place every single time. This way, um, you it not only helps your baby to feel safe, but it also um, sends sleep signals to your baby that now is the time for sleep. So tip number three is have and establish a bedtime routine. Now the bedtime routine doesn't have to be complicated, it should not be more than about 30 or 40 minutes, but the the two key things here are it must be consistent and it must be in the same pattern every night. So a bedtime routine could look something like have a bath, have a bath, bath your baby, give them a gentle um, massage, dress them in their pajamas, give them a final feed, and then a little bit of a read a book or a lullaby and then down for for bed. Like I said, it's important to follow that same routine or same pattern every night and be as consistent as you can be with your bedtime routine. Again, this helps to send signals to your baby that now is the time for sleep. So tip number four is create the ideal sleep environment. So what do I mean by this? You want to have an environment that is cool, dark and quiet. Now if you've got a young young child, so maybe past the baby stage and you're worried they don't like sleeping in the dark, at least try and keep the lights dimmed or put um, a night light, a small little night light in the room. But keep the room as dark as possible. Darker is better, um, but I know that some, um, you know, toddlers, they start to get a little bit anxious in the dark, so you may want to just put a small little night light there. Tip number five is don't let your baby fall asleep whilst feeding. Now this is a big one, but also probably the trickiest one. Because often when we're feeding babies, whether it's bottle feeding or breastfeeding, those little eyes tend to droop and they go to sleep. So try to keep your baby awake. The reason being is if they fall asleep while feeding, then basically this is becoming a sleep prop for them. So in other words, the only way they know how to get to sleep is by being fed. So when they wake up in the night and they start crying, they're going to be looking for you to come in and feed them in order to go back to sleep. So you want to aim to put your baby down to sleep whilst they're drowsy but still awake. So if you see your little one nodding off while you're feeding them, try and keep them awake. Give them a little tickle under their chin, sit them upright a little bit and just try to keep them from falling asleep completely. Tip number six is to eliminate sleep prop. So we already discussed one sleep prop, which is feeding, um, but there are many other sleep props, whether that be a pacifier, rocking, singing, patting, driving around in the car. If you do any of these things currently to get your baby to sleep, basically you've created a sleep prop or a sleep aid. Again, like with feeding, the challenge with this is that your baby is now used to you rocking, patting, feeding, driving around in the car to get them to sleep. So when they wake up in the night, they don't know how to get themselves back to sleep and they need you to come and do that same thing in order to get them back to sleep. 
So just like with feeding, let them, try, you're trying to put them down whilst they're drowsy, but they're still awake. Then this tip number seven is wait a few minutes. Now I know this is a tough one. You know, mother's instinct, you hear your baby crying, you just want to rush in there and, and see what's wrong. But the problem is that babies do need time to um, figure out how to sleep independently. So what happens is if you hear your baby crying and you react straight away and go in and pick them up, you haven't given them that opportunity, um, giving them that few minutes to figure out. Perhaps they will figure out and actually go back to sleep. So if you hear your baby cry in the night, just wait a few minutes, see if they actually figure it out. Some, you know, babies have short sleep cycles, um, so they need some time to just transition from one sleep cycle to the next. Now, of course, if your baby is, is really crying and they don't settle after a few minutes, go to them and comfort them. But try not to constantly um, pick them up because, again, you'll find yourself quickly going back into the habit of rocking or feeding or, or patting them. Rather, just offer a few words of you know, comfort, maybe a little bit of a pat on, on the back, calm them down and, and then leave. Let them figure out how to go to sleep on their own. Now again, we are not talking about newborn babies here. We're not talking about babies that are less than eight weeks old because with them, honestly, you just need to do whatever you need to do to get them to sleep. But try to create these good sleep habits from day one. Um, that way your baby will quickly learn how to get to sleep on their own. As parents, we all want our children to, to have a good night's sleep, and we know the importance of, of sleep. So by following these simple tips, you can really help create good sleep habits in your baby or young child um, from an early age, and that will really last them through, throughout their lives. So good luck, um, and I hope these simple tips will help you to get your baby or young child sleeping through the night. Bye for now.